Today we're looking at the Eastern XX75 Platinum Plus Arrows. So the XX75 Platinum Plus range of arrows, another uh, classic arrow from Eastern that I imagine a lot of you probably already use or you have used because it's a really versatile arrow um, for beginners as well as um, intermediate archers as well. So what we're we looking at, well, we've got an aerospace alloy, a 7075 T9 uh, aerospace alloy with a hard anodized finish. We've got a guaranteed um, straightness of point plus or minus uh, point zero zero two, um, and a weight tolerance of plus or minus one percent, and a high strength PSI rating of ninety six thousand. And on the uh, XX seventy five Platinum Plus, you can have Super or G Uni bushings installed. Now that depends on the size of the arrows, but we'll come on to that a bit more uh, later on. Obviously, there's lots of different components, and we'll come on to those as well. And now we've got, in the spine arrow sizes, 14 different sizes. And the ones that I've used are actually, I started off on a 1916. And then later on, after a little bit of uh, going up the poundage on my limbs, I then settled on a 2016. I've actually since bought some more 1916s for field archery, which you've probably already seen in some of my videos. So I've used both of those. And obviously the higher the number that you go up, the thicker or the larger the diameter of the arrow. So you'll see in the video later on that the 2016s are bigger than the 1916s. We call them Platinum Pluses because if we just say XX75s, there are other arrows in the XX75 range. And they include the Tribute, the Jazz and the Neos as well. So the Tribute is really called XX75 Tribute, Jazz XX75 Jazz and Neos XX75 Neos. So remember to call these the XX75 Platinum Pluses. So let's talk a little bit about the history of these, um, of the aluminium arrow and Eastern really, or aluminium. Sorry, I'm going to have to say aluminium most of the time. Uh, Jim Easton actually began to experiment with um, aluminium as an arrow shaft after his uh, frustration with the inconsistencies of, of wood as, sh as shafts. Um, he presented his first set of aluminium arrows to Larry Hughes, who was a local archery champion. And then over the next two years, uh, Hughes enjoyed strong results with his experimental arrows culminating in, in him winning the actual 1941 uh, national championship. Although Easton couldn't um, take advantage of Hughes' success because what happened was that World War II uh, came along and for the next several years, the military actually commandeered all supplies of aluminium. Well, after a, a year later, after the war ended, when aluminium was uh, finally available again, Easton continued uh, his work on metal arrows, which soon led to his first trademarked aluminium arrow shaft. And that was called the 24SRT-X. By 1949, Easton stopped making finished aluminium arrows. Uh, and apparently instead, they decided to manufacture the arrow shafts on their own only. Uh, and that was mainly to avoid competing with um, his customers who were obviously charging or uh, making up the arrows themselves. Now, the 24 SRTX uh, was so successful that in 1956, um, he hired, uh, Jim Easton hired his first two full-time employees. And a year later, he needed more room. So he moved to the business in Van Nuys, um, where he took over the new a new 10,000 square foot building. And then over the next decade, he actually introduced the XX75, which would become and is the best selling arrow shaft in history. So there we go. A little bit of history for you. So let's look at the kind of pros of the aluminium uh, XX75 Platinum Plus. Well, it is a great quality aluminium arrow. And as I say, I've shot a couple of different spines in it. It's really good quality good arrow it's an all-rounder um, I've shot this I started off with it outdoors um, 
and then I moved indoors with it and I kept it until I sort of started shooting sort of further than 50, 60 meters and I wanted something a bit slimmer. Um, so it's a great all round arrow and you can use it indoors and outdoors and that's why it's a great um, starter arrow for beginners as well. Although I use it for field archery as well, basically because I wanted a cheap kind of arrow that I didn't mind kind of breaking or losing. It's also a great price and great value for money as well. You can buy them obviously just as shafts and build them up yourself or you can buy them um, ready-made. They're easy to find second-hand as well on the uh, on different selling sites. Just uh, be wary that some uh, they've not got any sort of bends in them or anything. You can buy them singularly. Now it's up to you when you buy these. If you buy these new you can buy these in singles. You can buy these in any uh, sort of numbered values. Some retailers will sell you them in sort of eights or twelves. But then if you kind of break or lose any, any then you can also buy um, in singles afterwards. There's lots of spines to cater for most archers. As you saw, there were 14 in the list. And there are different knock manufacturers. You don't have to stick with uh, the Eastern knocks. If you don't like them, you could always go to like a biter knock or a boning knock, etc, etc. These arrows are easy to maintain and look after. And whether you're changing out kind of the fletchings of the veins on them, um, the points fit in really nicely. They're easy to glue in and take out as well. So here's some information on the uh, 14 spine sizes for the XX75 Platinum Plus. We've got the size on the left. And then you've got the actual um, shaft weight in grains per inch. We've also got the um, deflection in inches value there. But also on the uh, fourth column there, you can see the shaft outer diameter in inches going from the thinner uh, 1416 at 0.219 at the top all the way down to the 2315, which is 0.365. So as you can see, they get fatter uh, as, as you go down. And then there's a stock length in inches on the right hand side as well. So what are the cons to the Eastern XX75 Platinum Plus? Well, to be honest, I found it really difficult to actually write this list because um, there's nothing really wrong with them at all. But I had to put something down. So I suppose the first one to think about really is they're quite hard to pull out of a target on a wet day. You might hear people um, trying to pull these out if it's been raining, trying to pull them out of a foam target and they're squeaking and quite hard to grip compared to kind of a carbon wrapped arrow. But that's the same of any kind of aluminium arrow. It's not anything specific to the Eastern arrow here. Obviously, they can get bent. Um, I've had things jump off um, trees and things like that or or and just slightly have a slight bend in the arrow. So it's really important um, to check them now and again and roll them on a flat surface and kind of look underneath them uh, as you're rolling them just to see if they are actually flat to check the straightness. But again, this is not anything that's bad with the Eastern arrows. This is all kind of all aluminium arrows that you can kind of bend no matter uh, who the manufacturer is. Uh, one specific thing to the Eastern arrow is that the spines of 2013 and upwards take the super G knock. Now it's not a knock I like because it's quite a wide throat to the knock. I prefer the um, small G knock and uh, you may not like these larger knocks if you're going for a larger spine for a higher spine value but um, what I did find you might want to check the video out that I did actually adapt a higher value of 2016 to fit a small G knock um, by inserting an extra bushing in there and I'll put the link to that video in the description at the bottom as well so not many cons to them at all but I thought I'd sort of have to say something about it so let's have a look at the uh, component side of things and this is taken out of this image is taken out of the eastern catalogue now in the components we've got a couple of different points we've got a bullet point and we've got a nib point. Usually I've always had the nib points. Uh, we've got the uni bushings on the right hand side. Obviously there's two different sizes there. So and it says the larger ones on the top, the six point mil, six point five mil version at 19 grains. And the lower one is the four mil, which is the G uni bushing, 
for sizes, as it says there, 19, 14 and smaller. Now, on the knock side of things, um, we've got a few choices here, but there's the Microlite uh, Super Knock in kind of a, a green fluorescent, 6.5 mil. And then we've got the Micro Knock in orange and the 4 mil uh, G Knock. Oh, not forgetting the Super uh, 3D Knock in sort of black there in the middle. So make sure if you're building them yourself that you pick the right knock for the size of the arrow that you're buying and the right bushing, which should already be fitted anyway. You'll also find that the um, points have rings around them as well. And these denote the weight in grains of the actual point. So that's something worth knowing. You'll usually see like one, two or three kind of rings around these. The more rings, the heavier the point is. So on this arrow, this is a 2016 arrow. See, I've got a black and white fletchings on these. And I've actually got a separate um, uni bushing added on the end here to take the small G knock. Um, as I said, uh, this video is available and I'll put it in the description if you want to find out about how to adapt these up, um, the 2016s, to take a small G knock instead of the super knock. This is the 1916 version with the orange and the white. Uh, veins on it that I use for sort of clout or field shooting where I want a cheaper arrow um, that I don't mind if I kind of damage them and I've got a it's not an eastern knock in this one I don't know what it is actually but it's a clear kind of fluorescent green um, small G knock in this one and you can also see now from this um, slight variation in diameters obviously the top one with the orange vein is a 1916 and the bottom one with the black is a 2016 so you can see a slight uh, larger diameter arrow in the 2016 at the bottom. Just to say the sticky um, arrow wraps are from Arrow Socks in the UK. They're just on a clear background um, with a black um, font on them, really transparent sticker, just with my name and number of the arrow on, just a small mini wrap. And that's it for the XX75 Platinum Plus. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.